The ocean, which covers 70% of our planet, remains largely a mystery, with more than 80% unmapped and unexplored. But a new discovery in the vast underwater expanse of the Pacific Ocean could rewrite what we thought we knew. According to a recent study, lumpy metallic rocks in the deepest, darkest reaches of the ocean could be producing oxygen. These aren't just any rocks. We're talking about the abyssal plains, thousands of feet below the surface, where sunlight has never penetrated. Yet scientists say this is precisely where some remarkable rocks are producing oxygen, or what's been dubbed dark oxygen. How is this possible, and what could it mean for our understanding of life both on Earth and potentially beyond? Oxygen, the very breath of life, is vital for our existence. Remarkably, about half the oxygen we breathe originates from the ocean, produced by marine plants through the familiar process of photosynthesis. As you know, this process fundamentally requires sunlight. But what if sunlight wasn't the sole prerequisite for oxygen production? This might sound like science fiction, but it could be reality, as scientists have stumbled upon evidence of dark oxygen. A recent study suggests that lumpy metallic rocks resting on the sea floor in the deepest, darkest corners of the ocean, specifically in the clarion clipperton zone between Hawaii and Mexico, could be generating oxygen in the complete absence of sunlight. This claim has the potential to upend our fundamental understanding of the origins of life. The long-established view suggests that complex life became possible when organisms began producing oxygen through photosynthesis around 2.7 billion years ago. If this isn't the complete picture, if rocks can indeed produce this so-called dark oxygen without any light, it calls into question the very foundations of how life arose on our planet. So how exactly is this happening in the inky blackness of the deep sea? Scientists have found that in these lightless depths, oxygen appears to be produced by what are known as polymetallic nodules. These are naturally occurring, potato-sized lumps of metal, rich in elements like manganese, nickel, and cobalt. The researchers discovered that these nodules possess a significant electric charge, almost like a small to a battery. This electrical potential is strong enough to drive a process called seawater electrolysis. Essentially, this means the electrical current can split water molecules H2O into their constituent parts, hydrogen and oxygen. This remarkable process is occurring in the lightless abyss of the ocean, producing dark oxygen. Interestingly, this discovery has implications for deep sea mining companies. In recent years, they've shown a growing interest in the deep sea, eager to extract precious metals from the ocean bed. These polymetallic nodules are a prime target as they contain valuable battery metals. However, this pursuit comes with considerable risks, including potentially unacceptable ecological damage that could disrupt underwater life and have far-reaching consequences for the planet. But that's not the only point of contention surrounding this discovery. The emergence of dark oxygen has ignited a new debate within the scientific community. Some scientists have expressed reservations about the findings, pointing out that the initial research into dark oxygen was partly funded by a Canadian deep-sea mining company. This has led some to question the impartiality of the findings and their underlying assumptions. Skeptics have also raised concerns about the longevity of the electrical charge in these ancient nodules and the possibility of trapped air bubbles affecting measurements. That said, if dark oxygen truly exists, and if these lumpy rocks are indeed producing it in the crushing depths of the sea, then this discovery is one for the history book. It suggests that there might be another fundamental way oxygen is produced on our planet, independent of sunlight. This could even change how we think about the possibility of life on other planets, particularly those without direct sunlight, like Jupiter's moon Europa or Saturn's moon Enceladus, which are believed to harbor subsurface oceans. If similar oxygen-producing rocks exist in these alien oceans, it could dramatically increase the potential for life beyond Earth. The lead researcher, Professor Andrew Sweetman, even stated that they are already in talks with experts at NASA about how dark oxygen could reshape our understanding of extraterrestrial life. The discovery, initially made during a 2013 research mission, was considered an anomaly for nearly a decade before further investigation confirmed the surprising results. Now scientists are planning new expeditions in 2026 to further investigate this profound discovery and address the ongoing debate. The implications of finding a second source of oxygen on Earth are truly staggering. 
forcing us to reconsider the very origins of life and the potential for life in the vast darkness of space. Before you go, if you found this video interesting, don't keep it to yourself. Hit that like button to show your support, subscribe to stay ahead of mind-blowing discoveries, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update, and drop a comment below. What surprised you the most? See you in the next one.